All right. So for now, we're going to um, set up a database uh, container. For this one, we, there's no really no need for us to actually create a separate Docker file um, to maintain the container. We can just do it directly within our composer um, file, Docker Compose. Um, we can actually run that um, or install it from there. Uh, the way we do that, we just actually point to the image. Um, so from right here or at the very bottom, I'm going to put it here. And right here. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to name this uh, container uh, DB. Or the actual service name is going to be DB. Um, the image that we're going to pull down is um, it's going to be the older image. Um, I'm, I really hasn't been... I had some issues connecting with the um, 8, you know, using this secure plugin. Even though you can use the less... You don't have to use the... Um, the current um, plugin authentication, but anyways, um, for this one, I'm gonna use MySQL 5.7.22 um, um, and then give it the container name, which is gonna be the same as the service name is DB. Um, and this is where we give it some environment variables. Um, for right now, we don't really have um, um, any. Um, I could put it in the um, you know, meaning I could create a .env and copy it over, or you can use it. But for now, I'll just hard code. I'll just use a built-in. Um, oops. So it's going to be MySQL. Um, the database name. So this right here, this will actually create the database name. This will create the database when we run this. Um, when we do a Docker um, Docker compose up, it would actually create this database for us okay um, and then we're gonna give it the MySQL root password oops root password um, and I, uh, I always I don't know why in development this is the password I've been using for years root admin with um, set of O's as zeros <clears throat> and then we're gonna um, get out of here we no longer in environments and then we're gonna um, oops expose some ports um, which is the default port so we're gonna call it uh, 33 um, so instead of 3306 um, I'm gonna call it 3307 3307 will be on the Windows 10 machine on the Linux side with the default the default is uh, 33 I mean sorry uh, 3606 Oh, so I'll put this um, 3607, so I won't get confused. 3606. So on the right side, this is uh, inside the container of the Linux, and this is our Windows 10 machine. Okay. So basically, it's going to redirect. It, what happens? It redirects all traffic from this port over to this port. Okay. Um, and then if we could give it a volume name. I don't know why I keep uppercasing this. Volumes. Um, we could call it DB. Oops. Uh, DB. Yeah, we give a space. DB data. Okay. Database data. Um, and which um, should I create this? Um, let's see if it creates it automatically for us. DB data. WAC. Uh, var. Lib. Then MySQL. Okay. And that's it for now. Now, for now, we can go all the way at the bottom. And this is like right here. Um, it may not be here. I'm thinking this is not a part of the service. So I'm going to get out of the service. I'm going to go here. Let me see. Volumes. Yep, that's correct. And then DB data. Um, and what, what this is doing is saying I want to choose the, the, a local driver for this. Um, driver um, local okay so that's it so I'm going to stop this okay and I'm gonna rebuild it so it's gonna re it should rebuild the other two pretty fast um, it may take time for, um, for the um, 
for the engine um sorry for the MySQL. Um wasn't that time much time at all. Uh do 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 um I seen some um port thirty six did it say it was ready? Yep, it's ready. <clears throat> Right here, where you says my SQL D ready for connections. Port 3306, that's on the Linux side. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to test it out by I'm going to use <clears throat> uh, my SQL Workbench. Okay, bring that up. Um, you can download this from uh, my SQL online, um, it's free. And I'm going to create a new connection. Okay, standard. That's fine, um, except this is that uh, root. Uh, I'm going to store the root password, and which is the one we created, root root. Um, I'm going to name it Sandbox. Let's test the connection. At first glance, at first try, I always run into issues, right? Um, I'm, first try, I'm always, I'm always, it's like sometimes you can, you have to use the DB. Um, nope, doesn't like it. Let's try uh, DB. Doesn't like it. Okay, so uh, I forget what was the um, uh, the the issue with this. Doesn't like local hosts. Um, if I do this. Obviously, it's not going to do that because I put on the on the uh, file 3307, right? 3307. Oh, 3607. What was I putting over there? 3607. <laughs> uh, user error, I guess. Ooh, it doesn't like that at all. Okay, localhost. Or it's going to be um, 127.0. This is the local loopback. All right. Let's see. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. What did I do? do, do, do. Uh, 3306. That's the Linux port. But in here, I'm saying it's listening to the incorrect. Okay. So yeah, I was, I put the incorrect port. So let's let's listen to 3307 and then 3306. Okay, so let's stop it and restart it. All right, it's good to pay attention. <laughs> okay, so as I was quick, so now it's listening to 3306, and it's gonna get redirected to 3307. So if I put, uh, where's that? My 33. Oh, 07 test the connection boom connected successfully <laughs> took long enough right um save that we could just double click it and get into it and there we go we have access to uh to my sequel um on the um on the uh container the uh, my sequel container um so right now um, we don't really have any databases. Well, we actually do. We have the default database. We haven't um, actually um, removed any databases. So let's see. It's oh, this interfaces. There you go. So we have. This is our database that we created. See, it created this automatically. It's called Sandbox because we renamed it um, here when we set the. Uh, uh, where is that? The MySQL database name, Sandbox. So we created a Sandbox database. Okay. Um, and obviously there are no tables. So um, in the next video, we will actually create some table. Well, we'll create one table. We'll create a user's table for to, to log in. Um, and then we'll see how we can interact with the tables, um, how everything can interact with each other, even though we're in a Docker container. All right. Until the next video.